five types of uh, ocular movements. In the context of posturology, we often speak of convergence, and rightfully so, because an insufficiency of convergence, one of the main consequences is going to be a tilt rotation of the head, postural imbalances on the entire muscle chains, all the way down to the feet. Convergence, when you bring your eyes closer to the midline, and divergence is when your eyes move away from the midline. And obviously, I think we should be good at everything. So, I mean, I do work on convergence and divergence when I take on clients. I like to start with, when needed, on the non-optic reflex uh, systems. And we're in the presence of three different types of um, systems there. We have optokinetics, we have VORs, and we have cancellation of VOR. Those are the types of eye movements that lay the foundation for really robust, performant eye movements, just generally speaking. I think when we're really good at these types of eye movements, we can move forward, we can move on to pursuits. We're basically going to be tracking an object slow moving. Slow moving is around 130 degrees per second. And we're going to be able to see that object from beginning to end with no interruption. When the movement gets too fast for pursuits, we fall into a category of eye movements called saccade. With saccades, the eye movement is actually so fast that between the start and the finish of the eye movement, it's so blurry you don't see well. So you perform the saccade, but then when your eyes land on the target, you also work on the fifth of the eye movements, which is a fixation. And so fixations can be worked on in the context of saccades. They could also be worked on, for instance, in the context of working on convergence, you could do convergence with fixation. You key in on the tip of that index finger for three seconds. And so you were just here working on convergence and fixation at the same time.